Hey guys, get ready for some extreme cleaning, decluttering, and organizing. This video is filled with so much speed cleaning. I'm going to be doing some paper decluttering, cleaning out our basement bathroom that was packed full of stuff, organizing my freezer as well as kitchen drawers. Wait till you see these transformations. So let's get ready and let's do this together. Hey guys, I'm Jamie and I hope you're ready for some major, major decluttering and organizing. I have some organizing hacks I will share with you and we are going to get rid of so much stuff. Wait until you see the transformation of my kitchen drawers and my freezer. I am here with you. We are in this together. We're going to do this together. I'm right there with you. I hope you're ready. I'm by the How are you guys doing? Are you hanging in there? It's that crazy time of the year for sure. So much going on. Just a lot of fun, but a lot of stuff going on. I'm trying to manage my stress the best that I can and stay healthy. I've been sick a lot lately. I'm, I'm sure you guys remember that. Just I feel like every time I turn around, I'm sick. And I just finally got tired of that. And I sat down and I decided, okay, I need to take... A little bit more care of myself especially as we move into the winter months i'm really starting to crack down on my health and it's just hard to be 100 percent honest i think that you know as a mom you're always trying to take care of other people and of course juggle a lot that's just where we're at in our lives and sometimes it's hard to make for sure i'm getting in all of my necessary nutrients and i think my new goal or my new routine in order for me to stick with it, I've decided that it has to be simple. If it's not simple and convenient, I won't stick with it. So something that I have recently been doing is making sure I'm getting all of my necessarily necessary supplements first thing in the morning. No ifs, ands, or buts. Get it in and then I'm done. Um, and I've been doing that by taking AG1 powder by Athletic Greens and I either add it to my morning smoothie or if I'm running low on time, I just add it to my water. I drink it first thing in the morning. Usually I will drink it as I'm taking the twins to school or as I'm walking Avery to the bus stop. AG1 is a daily supplement that allows me to simplify my new health routine. It has 75 different ingredients, including vitamins, minerals, superfoods, probiotics, and adaptogens. And not only does it have my you know normal everyday supplements that I would be taking in pill form, but it also provides antioxidants, anti-inflammatory ingredients, and compounds that support my body. This is my former supplement basket, and instead of taking each one of these individually, which ends up being way too much. I just add it to my water. I add the AG1 to my water or my smoothie in the morning. So with one scoop, I can get all of the necessary nutrients to support my immunity. AG1 contains vitamin C, zinc, and healing mushrooms to support my immunity, which is what I'm really looking for. It also helps with my digestion and absorption. AG1 contains natural occurring enzymes that bolster the digestive process, supporting my metabolism and it also enhances the nutrient absorption. It has biotin, vitamin E that also helps improve my skin and hair. It also provides antioxidants that counteract the impact of free radicals that cause cell damage. This powder has everything that I need. One scoop. 
there's also a travel packet so that's even more convenient so all i need is one scoop or a travel packet eight ounces of water every single day pretty easy and this is definitely something that i can handle every single day actually have used green powders in the past but the reason why i like this one the best is because of the taste um you know i can add it to my smoothie but i can also just add it to water so if you want to join me and make sure that you get in all of your vitamins minerals probiotics superfoods if you want to make sure you get all of that in you can get your greens by going to athleticgreens.com slash jamie's journey and Athletic Greens is going to give my community a free one-year supply of immune-supporting vitamin D and five free travel packs with your first purchase. This is a game changer for supporting your immune system. AG1 provides your body with everything it needs for optimal performance every single day. Again, all of this will be in the description. Here's to simplifying our routines together. So I actually filmed this the day before Thanksgiving. Avery was home from school and I was trying to get a lot of stuff done because we had things we were gonna do later in the afternoon. Avery and I were gonna have a girls day. So Mike was with the girls, the twins, sorry, call them the girls. Mike was with the twins. It was just me and Avery. She was doing some of her school workbooks. She's at that age where it's still fun to do schoolwork even when you're not at school. And I was trying to get as much stuff as I could tackling my big to-do list. So obviously you can see all of the Christmas decorations. All of them were out. I had decorated and when I did decorate it was later on in the evening and I just kind of threw everything down all of the fault decorations down here in the bathroom. We don't use this bathroom a ton. It's in the basement and I didn't have time to put it away so I just threw it all in there and I was like okay I have to tackle this today. I knew that if I didn't tackle it it would get pushed off even further so I was putting everything away and I actually had some things that didn't fit into a bin so when Avery and I were out running errands later in the afternoon I picked one up at Walmart so I could fit everything in the bins and then Mike was going to organize them in the storage room later that evening but when I was done down here I was going to go upstairs and organize some of the paper clutter that we have around the corner um, we have these um like file folders that I put on the wall and so when Avery comes home from school you know she has tons of papers and sometimes you're like oh are we gonna need this do we will we need this again or can I throw it away so I always like to keep most of the papers she brings home and I'll put them in there and then maybe once a month I'll go through this and um, it's just easier to get rid of stuff when it's from a month ago because you're like okay I know we don't need this anymore so just periodically need to come in here and reorganize everything I can help that I miss you now Can help that I miss you now.
And the stuff that I decided to keep, I wanted to put in Avery's memory box. I made these recently or right before school. And so um, everything that I use to make these, I'll have linked in the description. But I like keeping things um, in the folder because then, you know, she's busy from school. And like I said, I'm not really sure like what we will want to keep. And, you know, she comes in, you know, every evening's busy and crazy because of activities or, you know, we're trying to get dinner ready. So I like to just be able to take stuff or she'll take stuff out of her backpack, put it in the file folder, and then periodically I can declutter. And then that way I have a better idea of, okay, well, she has two pictures of turkeys. We don't need to keep both of them or something like that, like pictures she drew. And I can save the top pieces um, and put it in her memory box. And then next I wanted to tackle these drawers. So if you've been around for a while, you know that these drawers get out of hand. And part of it is, I mean, these drawers are just kind of like a, they're like junk drawers, but stuff we use every day, I guess. Um, this one drawer that you're seeing me organize is the girl's drawer. So Avery always has like little toys or little things that like don't really have a place in the living room or the kitchen and I'll just throw it in there and then periodically I come in and throw it away or we'll keep seasonal things in here like sunscreen you'll see well we're not going to need sunscreen for a long time so we can get rid of that I keep brushes hair ties things like that and for this drawer I really wasn't organizing it I'm going to or organize the next drawer here it's more about decluttering and getting rid of a lot of stuff So like I said, we also like to keep their hair ties and hair brushes in here. You know, we're trying to rush out of the door, busy mornings, and it's just nice to have it all here. And like I said, I really don't want to organize that drawer because it, it changes seasonally of what we have in here. Also, I've noticed as the kids have gotten older, what we keep in here changes as well. And we wouldn't use this drawer for anything else anyways. So to me, it's just not a big deal. Um, I just have to make sure about once a month or every other or like every couple months at least I go in here and declutter that's the key um, but this other drawer this is where we keep our tablets we have a lot of cords and I wanted to organize it it was just bugging me because of all of the cords and um, I was using these cheap organizers I got from Target I've used them in my bathroom and I just like them because they have different colors they're very cheap and they have three or four different sizes so you can usually play tetris a little bit and get the perfect organizers for your space
the other thing I really wanted to organize, um, or re the other reason why I really wanted to organize this space was because of the cords. You know, we have our all of our iPhone chargers, iPad charger, I guess they're the same thing, but Avery also has the Kindle and we have the charging blocks and I just hate it when all of the cords are just like tangled up. So I was like, okay, this is what I need to do. I need to organize it. And I talked about this in a, like, a video in the past and I got a lot of people who sent me links for different cord organizers. And some of them are really cool. Some of them are better looking than the ones that I got. But honestly, I just wanted something cheap. So I went with the cheapest option to organize, wrap up my cords, um, but I got them from Amazon. I just, I hate it when all the cords are tangled up and then, I don't know, we can, it's just, I wanted a place for even like the charging blocks. I wanted to have a place because I feel like if, if the charging blocks had their own little organizer, then it's easier to force us, or it forces us to keep things organized as time goes on. So I'd like to put some labels specifically on here. I don't know if I'll label down here, but these two, just so we can kind of keep it straight. iPhone chargers, random chargers, like Kindles and stuff like that. Um, but I wanted to share something with you guys. I actually had gotten these. They are removable clear mounting squares. So they're sticky on both sides. And I was going to use these to put under these containers. So when I moved the drawer, they wouldn't move, like, because I knew that these would not go all of the way. Um, I knew these wouldn't go all the way like that. So I was going to put these stickies on there so they didn't move around, but it's pretty tight in there with how they fit. That I don't need these, but there's a little tip that if you guys do put organizers in a drawer and they don't fully fill the drawer and you don't want them sliding all around, you can buy these. I got these from Walmart or Target maybe. So they're sticky on both sides. You just stick them on the bottom and then they stay put and they're easy to get off. They won't ruin your drawers or your walls. I think you can even, yeah, use these for like posters or things like that. So there's just like a little organizing tip if you guys have big drawers like this. So with this drawer, I did not want to fully organize it. I didn't want to get organizers because honestly, the stuff that's in here changes. It's, I mean, as you can see, it's clearly the girl's, it's clearly the girl's drawer. Um, mainly Avery. So like her chapsticks, her hair ties, well the girl's hair ties and stuff like that. This is her little purse that she likes to carry out when we run errands, her sunglasses, brushes, when we do hair in the morning before school, and just a few games. So um, like I said, this is just kind of like overflow of her stuff that we want to keep down here. And the, the contents of this drawer changes seasonally. Um, and I know it's gonna change as the girls get a little bit older. So not something that I wanna do invest in as far as organizing this since the contents change, but periodically decluttering is the key for this drawer. Okay, so next I was tackling our freezer. And if you're observant, then you're probably like, wait a minute, you have your fall decorations out now. I thought you had your Christmas decorations out. So, okay, this is filmed out of order. I filmed this portion about a week and a half before Thanksgiving because I had a whole afternoon. The first part that you saw me film, I only had like a very short window of time. I honestly wasn't even planning on filming the day before Thanksgiving, but my house was a mess. So I was like, huh, I'm gonna clean it up. Might as well film it. Um, but yeah, we were just getting ready for the holidays. So the house was a mess. And when I film my videos or when I edit them, I, you know, I, I mean, normally I film it in order of how you see it, but I, 
I, I think of like how would I want to watch a, a cleaning video like you're most I, I would want to ease into like the decluttering and the organizing or if there's deep cleaning like I typically would not start out like deep cleaning the first clip of the video or like the decluttering you know like you almost need to ease into it that's how I would like to see it so that's kind of how I edited it but if you guys noticed it that's why but I really wanted to declutter and organize our freezer because we're getting another freezer and I know you guys are like what you are gonna have three freezers but we're not buying it um so we have a deep freezer in the garage and then we obviously have this freezer in the house Mike's parents are getting new appliances which I am so 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 happy for them because they've had their appliances I think for like 20 years and they were literally going to just get rid of like get rid of their appliances and we're like um so you're just gonna get rid of it we'll take it um and we're using it as a um like a beverage fridge I guess you could say so we'll put like I have all my sparkling waters out there I have um like vitamin waters we have like juice boxes and then some overflow stuff um that's nice like with our deep freezer we keep a lot of meats and then big bags of like frozen fruit when I make smoothies or things like that so like the deep freezers for like the bulk items and then I plan on using when we get it the other freezer for like things that we don't necessarily use every day but we use weekly if that makes sense so anyways reorganizing keeping stock of what we have what we need to use up and then I um, also have like a little board here that I was, as I was organizing the freezer stuff, anything that came up that I'm like, oh, I need, I need to make sure we're, you know, using this up. Or if there's times where I'm like, oh, like lunch, I need to make something for the girls. And I'm like, what do we even have? Sometimes you're just in the mo like this mode of like getting through your day and you don't even know what you have. And sometimes if I know like we have an excess amount of like frozen, frozen green beans, I'm like, okay, we're going to do frozen green beans at least, you know, for lunch, like things like that. So I always like to have a running list of things we, ha we have to use up or we have a lot of to give me ideas for meals. Wow, you guys, it looks so much better. So the key to organizing, I think, is... So with organizing, you want to be able to have categories. You know, when you need something specific, you know where to find it. So when it's breakfast, you know, Saturday morning breakfast, time to make something for the girls. We know to, you know, grab these bins. Um, and there's just... I mean, I know it's a little ridiculous that we now have three freezers but they all kind of serve their own purpose. Deep freezer's more for like overflow, extra meats, extra, we buy the big bags of fruit from Costco. So like those huge bags, um, stuff we, maybe something's on sale at Costco, we can stock up there. And then this stuff is more for like everyday foods. And I'm just happy because now I can see everything so much better. I'll know what we have, what we don't have. Just looks a lot better. I think I can stay on top of meals, stay on top of like not losing food or letting food expire now. So definitely looks a lot better. Okay, as I was going through the freezer, I found a lot of foods that I'm like, okay, I need to use I need to use this up. And one of my favorite apps for organizing all of my meals and planning out meals is called Paprika. But Basically what it does is it houses all of my recipes, number one. Um, I like having them in one place. You can also categorize them. So, I mean, you can do as many 
sections as you want so like I'll do like kid friendly you know you could do like a low carb appetizer or whatever it is um, but the reason why I like this so much is because it's so easy like when you come across a recipe online you can just easily export it into the app so for example this is the recipe right here I'm in my browser you just hit this arrow you find the paprika app usually go to more I'll find it down here add it and then watch when it goes in so it downloads it and it inputs all of the ingredients <laughs> um, like that's where you add your category um, it shows a picture but like it adds all of the ingredients for me and then the directions I didn't have to add in any of that so it pulls it from the <laughs> browser the website or whatever and adds it all in here and then it's in there so it's like I said it's just nice and find recipes that we really like that utilizes ground turkey but again I just like it because um, it's all in one spot and I like to have one spot to go to when I'm meal planning um, and when you're kind of in that rub you're like I don't know what to make tonight you can just go scroll through here and the app just makes it easy because it inputs the directions the ingredients or if I'm at the store I'm like oh yeah I'm making the you know my low carb breakfast sandwich you know like I can click on it and then I just go to well I mean the ingredients are right there so when I'm shopping I can just add it all so just wanted to add that in there because I when I was going through the freezer I ended up going into this app and I already have a meal that I want to make um probably for tomorrow so just wanted to share that it's called paprika it's not free I feel like it was like maybe four or five dollars but in my opinion, totally worth it. And if you're wondering, I'll have the bins that I used in the freezer linked in the description. They're from the container store, so they're not the easiest to get. I mean, I don't even have a container store near me, um, but I got them online and they're just awesome. Like they're, they're not, I mean, they're not super cheap. They're not like dollar store or Walmart cheap, but they're also not super expensive. And I've had them for four years and they still look as good as new. So, and they fit perfectly in the freezer. And then I was just organizing some cleaning cloths um, in these clear bins that I keep under my kitchen sink. I have a big basket of microfiber cloths, cloths. That's what I use to clean, microfiber cloths. And I like to keep some of them under the sink. I do have a big basket in the closet off of my kitchen that I keep a majority of my cleaning, my clean cleaning cloths. That's really hard to say. Um, but I also like to keep some under the sink so I can easily grab them when I'm wiping down at night or after dinner.
guys need something to add to your Christmas list, you need to add this Tinco Eye Floor too. Like, look how gross that water is. Just so nice. It is just so, so, so nice to be able to vacuum and mop in one go around. Whoa. Dirty, dirty floors. Seriously, you need this. Add it to your list right now. Oh, it picked up a magnet. <laughs> Do you guys see that magnet in there? Yuck. So I'm getting ready to take these over to my sister-in-law's and since I'm doing some decluttering and organizing, I thought I'd show them to you guys. I've showed them before on my channel, um, but I think, so I'm gonna be organizing her pantry and I showed these to her and she really likes them. And I thought they were really, really great. Like they're really heavy duty and I just like how they're clear, but they're a little cloudy. They're not like completely clear. I like how they're clear so you can see what's in there. I like the handles, they're nice and big. I don't know. So I think this is what we're gonna go with with her pantry, but if you guys are looking for a large multi-purpose bin with handles, I think these are a great option. And don't forget to check out the Athletic Greens Powder. This is a product that I genuinely, genuinely love. I mean, obviously, I wouldn't share it with you if I didn't. But I'm saying, like, I am very, very into staying healthy, you know, eating healthy, making sure I get all my supplements and nutrients. Um, so this is something that I truly believe in and I'm passionate about. So I highly, highly encourage you guys to go check them out. Again, all of the details, um, the link will be in the description. Some straggling socks, which always happens. It's a miracle if all of your socks. It's a miracle if all of the socks match. But I have, but everything is nice and folded. I still have a load of laundry in the dryer, but I'm sure Mike will fold that later. So I am done for the day. But I'm gonna go ahead and end this video right now. I hope you enjoyed this clean declutter and organize with me. Thank you so much for being here. You guys are awesome. You're the best. I love you guys. You're my friends. Thank you. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.